Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, Matt Riley at Home Sweet Abilene, homesweetabilene.com, uh, where I look at various properties in the Abilene, Texas area. Um, some that just catch my interest and some that I think that are opportunities. Uh, real estate, residential, commercial, multifamily, um, just whatever I see. I usually have interest, I have interest in it and I'm looking at it quite often and there are interesting things going on in Abilene and from time to time um, every month or every few months there'll be a really cool property um, that I wish that I could do um, some sort of investment with um, I'm getting to the point where I can start to hopefully start to do something like that but um, you know sharing these for the outside world if you're not familiar with Abilene and how Abilene's coming along in the 21st century um, it's a little bit behind the times as far as Texas goes, as far as prices, and um, there's just interesting things about it. But we're gonna get going in here because I started talking too much. Um, that's one I just did earlier. Um, so this this property is on eight on I twenty. I always say eight twenty. I don't know why I'm saying eight twenty. But Abilene and I twenty have an interesting relationship, in my opinion. I don't feel like I-20 is like it's like a burden to the city. Um, if you're traveling on I-20 from Dallas, you're expecting I Abilene because it's the one that's on the sign, you know, go west on I-20 to Abilene. But once you get to Abilene, once you're coming in right here on I-20, there is not much of anything here. The first exit goes off into darkness. It's a left exit, so it's interesting in that way. Um, you get over here to ACU, and this um, northeast side of town is really the only thing that exists over here. It's not, I don't see it as being designed for interstate travel, interstate commerce. The exits are all kind of weird, long exits, not, I don't think anybody stops here very often. I, I'm an interstate traveler myself and I do a lot of miles, um, thousands of miles a month um, in Texas and surrounding states. So I trust my feel in that particular case. There's just, there's no billboards building up to Abilene. It's very underwhelming, anything that is. Coming from the other side, out of Midland toward Dallas is just more of the same. Um, Ty Merkel to the west and Clyde Baird to the east do significantly more than Abilene on with their interstate presence. And still it's, it's very underwhelming there too as well. Um, there's no big loves, uh, travel, TA, pilot, there's a QT right next to this property. So we're gonna go ahead and look at it. And that's why I think this property is interesting is because of the arrival of this QT, which is under construction in this picture. Um, it mentions the all subs right there in this listing. Zoned heavy commercial it doesn't say anything about the QT, which is curious. Um, approximately one mile from Hardin Simmons is true. I don't really know what this property property would have anything to do with Hart and Simmons unless you did apartments. The same with Hendrick Medical Center. I don't really know what this piece of property would have anything to do with the medical center and any kind of relation. Um, like I said, ACU is building out toward the interstate, but it's it doesn't have it's not for they're not doing anything for interstate the interstate traveler. It's all university related and local related. Um, possibly, you know, some hotels you could consider for ho for uh, interstate travel, but really that's for people staying local um, for conventions and stuff like that. There's just not much on the interstate. Most of the businesses that are on the interstate um, aren't surviving and don't look healthy and are older in older buildings, dilapidated buildings. Um, need to be torn down some of it is being torn down this particular ditch right here I'm, I imagine this is indicating some sort of a flood zone 
or where the elevation drops off, the elevation does drop off right at that tree line. And this isn't a particular art. Elm Creek and Catclaw Creek have various streets named after them, maybe even a neighborhood or something. I think this is just basically a, a drainage line that goes north and south through the length of town. And it is a significant, as we'll see here in the footage that we're going to go ahead and get started. So this is Old Anson Road that we're um, starting here, and this is the the visible, usable space, which is significantly smaller than the overall size of the property. Um, but this right here is big enough that you could get tractor trailers in there, possibly parked in toward the back if you cleared some of this out. There's enough room in there for tractor trailers to move around in. If you were just going to make this a straight parking lot and play off the QT, because it's the only thing on the interstate that draws a presence for Abilene, is that QT. And as you'll see, it's nice. Um, it stays um, pretty full with tractor trailers. Um, in Now, somebody would say if you're watching this that Ty and Merkel and Clyde and Baird have trucking stuff, but just in general, in the overall sense of cities on the interstate in Texas and surrounding states, it's just not much of a presence. This travel in over here, I mean, it's a, that's an investment opportunity for somebody because right now it's just like a two star, probably only fills when there's an event in town. Otherwise, it's probably random, homeless, very short term rental type tenants. Who knows? I, mean, I might be wrong on some of that. That's just my overall take on it and my opinion. Um, those apartments are nice, so you've got a healthy bit of customers right there. Um, the the Air, Dias Air Force Base is off here south of the interstate. That's looking off to the west, turning now toward the east, toward Dallas. Um, this is all, all this stuff is just local, it's just playing off of local, local traffic. That's not really a street, I think that's more for residential. You might connect up here to go on to Anson. That was a flag store, I believe. Once a gas station, then a flag store. Failed, I don't think that business is operating. The travel in is struggling. Solitaire homes do well. I mean, they're out of homes. Um, uh, that type of living is pretty popular in West Texas, um, out in the oil fields, and even for people buying land and putting homes on their land. So that QT is great. This line right here probably gets full. Abilene does have flooding issues. Um, this looks like it was built and designed well, so I imagine that this gets full. But I don't think necessarily, especially this top pad right here, would have issues with flooding. And those are nice nice apartments right there, workers. So you got uh, commerce opportunity with this particular. Um, this might be a, a, I don't think it's big enough for like a shopping center of any kind, but um, a Dollar General, Dollar General or another gas station. I mean, you can have multiple gas stations on one side of the road on the interstate, it'll support it. Like you see that all over America, all over the West. So, <clears throat> this area is kind of, there's a lot of open lots, like there's a lot of interesting properties, like up here to the north, that is the land of interesting properties. I've seen a few. Um, over here, you can see there's open spaces, open lots where stuff is just getting torn down, and there's just that's just the part of Abilene. It's just interesting opportunities, but this that could support a business. You could just flatten that and do a very basic business for two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. That's two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars for that location. It just seems like an opportunity for me personally. Uh, when all the other lots in the area are just really big, multiple million dollar lots, 
um, big, huge corporate level purchases, I would say, or whatever the case. But this is actually something that's kind of in my ballpark. And it's interesting, not very well represented. Um, if you were just looking into it yourself, you would definitely just go over it. It was listed at December 9th, 2021. So this QT over here was probably just starting to get under construction. This all subs right here and the Alon, that represents like all the truck stops in this area. Like there's not any truck stop that's really any more than that. So it's, I don't even consider that a truck stop. Like that's just like a local, a local place that local trucks can get gas. Like that's not a truck stop. QT, the QT is barely a truck stop barely a truck stop but it's enough because there's nothing because there's nothing it gets attention and it, it, it stays busy because if you're traveling from Dallas to Midland you think Abilene's going to be like a significant hub like it probably was in the 19th century or 20th century but in the 20, 21st century it's almost like um, the whole city's out of business. It just makes the look the whole makes you just drive through and you just think this whole town is out of business, <laughs> which is terrible because it's not. But um, it's just it, it's anything. I mean, three universities, a uh, convention center, rodeo, uh, significant uh, air force base. It's anything but out of business but that's just what you get from the interstate and whatever you can disagree with me that's my opinion as a traveling person on the interstate see if this was an RV park RV parks I see RV parks full just about everywhere in Texas everywhere in West Texas even the way out in the middle of nowhere RV parks are still if not full um, in business and operating so you could use this area back there um, just for kind of just ambiance and just kind of feel of the RV park and just not do it so crammed in but for two hundred twenty five thousand dollars I mean at that location right next to a right next to a QT an RV park right there if you could do it um, I'm pretty confident would stay full and it's close enough to the Air Base Air Force Base that um, RV parks are very desirable right now and factory homes um, people like them I like them but this kind of wraps up this video I am open to doing these types of videos if you if there is a listing that you want to see in Abilene that's not uh, you need want a little bit more information than what you see on LoopNet or Zillow or Redfin or Realtor let me know um, I have moved to Abilene from Houston I got family here I traveled here for almost two decades from Dallas and Houston so I understand from the outside looking in sometimes everybody on the inside doesn't realize what people see from the outside you know so um, and how hard it is to get uh, get an idea of what Abilene really is as a city so I can give you some of that insight and I can get you some footage we can do it privately um, if you pay for it to be private and some photos if we can get onto the property if uh, approval and permission is needed or you know if somebody can give me the key I do do real estate for a living here in Abilene, done over 200 listings here in the big country. So let me know if there's any properties you want me to do. I'm kind of just going to go down LoopNet's listings here and um, start to just kind of do them for fun, do them for the channel. So stay tuned, like, and sub subscribe. Uh, appreciate it.